details on the roulette assignment can be found in the Canvas course site. You'll find the roulette wheel colors. I'm going to click on that. And here's information about it. You can see an image of what a roulette wheel looks like, as well as what a roulette board looks like. And notice that different numbers are red, different numbers are black, and a couple of them are green. And I give you information on which numbers are which color and instructions for the project. It's also a PDF here. I'm going to open up that PDF. So numbers that are 1 through 10 are that are odd or red, and the even numbers are black. We reverse that for 11 through 18. 19 through 28, the odd numbers are red, even numbers are black. 29 through 36, odd numbers are black, even numbers are red. And number 0 is green. Use some screenshots. So what the users are going to do is they're going to enter a number between 0 and 36, and we'll tell them whether that number is red, black, or green more sample data and you can use this to test your program. So I'm going to slide this out of the way a little bit here and let me run my version of this application in Python. It's for us to, number, us to enter a number between 0 and 36. I'm just going to use some of the data I have here. I'm going to do an 8. And that should be black. If I run it again, thirteen should be black. Sixteen is red, and so forth. And so you can test your data against what I have in the assignment instructions. Little tip here: um, you can use if elif structures. What I would do is only is, is set the default color to red for any number, and then if the number falls in a black range or a green range, change it. You don't need to necessarily then do an else structure that makes it red. You can just set everything to red and then just change it. Um, if it needs to be changed. That will reduce your code a little bit and is a little more efficient in terms of the program running.